This is To the Rescue Authentic Networking, and I'm Jennifer Johnson, Executive Director of TTR Networking and Relationship Marketing Coach. This show is all about authentic business networking know-how, relationship building, and the success strategies used by our members to grow their businesses and to give back to local nonprofits. Be sure to stay up to date. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell to get the notifications. Oh, yeah, and, and please, please visit our website, ttrnetworking.com. We are TTR Networking. We're industry-exclusive networking groups. We meet weekly to share easy relationship marketing tools, fun, entertaining, and informative events and fundraising. We are so glad you're here. Now on with the show. Welcome to To the Rescue Authentic Networking. We are so glad you are here. My name is Nicole Williams, along with my um, co-host Jennifer Johnson and Don Evans Casey. Um, hey, Jennifer, what is going on? <laughs> Do you think anybody? Actually, there's a lot going on, but I was just wondering if people are wondering. Well, that sounds like they've been sitting there goofing around for a while. We yeah, have now. <laughs> this technology stuff is really fun, isn't it? You know what? It, there's a lot going on. And you know what? We can sit here and we'll laugh for a few minutes. And but I know in our networking world, we've moved because of the pandemic. We've moved everything online. And um, on some levels, it is so wonderful. We have technology. But on some other levels, it's so sad that we have to do this because a lot of what we do is we meet in person and get to really know each other and you can still do it online and it's and it's fun to see and we all look like a Brady Bunch. I mean, it takes us back to the, you know, but it is such a horrible thing to be dealing with and it's just nice to see all you lovely ladies with your smiles and I have new teeth, so I think this one. <laughs> Very yeah. lovely. I'm sorry. I had to do that. If I didn't do it, okay, it wouldn't be me. But anyway, so a lot's going on and, um, you know, it kind of, I always come back or I try to come back to we are all praying for everybody we're all praying every day we you know i am always reminded of the serenity prayer that i had god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change the courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference i mean really that's what it boils down to if you can have a it's all in your mindset be positive this is going to make us stronger we're all going to come out ahead here you know um Nicole, how are you though? I hadn't really even asked you. Yeah, um, I'm I'm good too. But like you, I'm concerned. This um, is an unprecedented situation. Yes. I mean, more than a situation. I mean, it's global. It's scary. Um, it's very scary. But I just like learning how I can help people. Um, one of the things my girls and I are doing is um, we're working on 150 cards yeah. for um, a nursing home. Um, brought to our attention, you know, the, the nursing homes, they're not letting visitors in, you know, they're taking great, you know, at length taking care of them. So we created these cute cards and sending them out to them and just hope to bring them cheer. Um, let's see. Oh, we did have a really good TTR Northside meeting this week. Um, like you said, we moved it to the online. Yeah. And the yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know how we can help each other. You know, it's you know how our businesses are affected and what we can do. Um, and also, my blog is now published. The Mama Yay. is still a work in progress. Yes, <laughs> um, but it's, I'm excited. Um, and uh, I just wanted to uh, ask Don. Don, how are you doing? Are you there, Don? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I think yeah. we keep, we keep uh, losing our guests. That's the problem. We'll, have, we'll probably have to lock back on. Don, how are you doing? I think so. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, uh, Nicole and Jennifer. Um, I'm feeling well. I'm I'm staying busy. Um, I'm staying busy with my company, my my travel company, assisting my clients, answering questions, and managing cancellations and 
and changes and providing status updates. But I'm also staying busy, being productive while I'm staying safe at home. Um, I've right. been creating little sample size hygiene bags with the, um, the hotel uh, oh. lotions, soaps, uh, little travel size um, hygiene items. And I've been, I gather them I, as, I, as I've traveled in the past. And when I accumulate a bunch, I uh, get the little Ziploc baggies and uh, make little travel packages. And what I've been doing with those is, is donating them to the Hearts and Hands uh, Homeless Outreach here oh. in Indianapolis. So especially at a time when um, hygiene and, and uh, you know, personal sanitation and all that is so important to, right. to stay healthy and, and safe. Um, that's something that I can do right here at home without going out and engaging. But um, I'm, I'm going to create a whole bag and, and, and donate that. And, and kind of like Nicole and her girls as well, I've been writing notes to seniors. Um, oh, cool. And for that population that is stuck at home, um, I just, you know, try to share a little, a little uh, joy, a little happiness and uh, uh, mailing off notes. So I, I'm being productive all around. You know what? That is actually a really good uh, point. I'm just going to take advantage of that moment because you talked about joy and happiness. And you know who our guest is? Our guest is Pauline Ray talking about, what did you say? Hope and joy and love and happiness and see now she's had trouble she's been she's been trying to keep on <laughs> logging off and logging in logging off and lo so if she freezes we'll have to make conversation well but Pauline um, actually we're gonna jump right in there you know if you want to check out TTR networking you can go to ttrnetworking.com Pauline actually is in your group Don right so I think we lost yes. Don. Yes. <laughs> no, there she is. Good. So, but no, Paul, I'm here. Pauline is the owner of PSR Designs of Indiana. And um, that is actually, she does greeting cards, wedding stationery, invitations. Um, what else? I mean, you do all kinds of stuff, Pauline, don't you? Yes, I do. And before we go into the introductions and stuff, Please know that the internet droppage is not indicative of the quality of work that I produce. Okay, that was a good <laughs> thing to prepare. <laughs> Amazing. Don't, don't let my internet, internet. indicate right. disclosure because that's wrong. <laughs> that's good. That's good. All right, but if we lose you, we don't want to lose you. So tell us a little bit. You know, your website, why don't you start out with that? What's the website again, please? Sure. The website is psrdesigns.com. And as Jennifer just indicated, I do create um, handcrafted wedding invitations as well as greeting cards and other um, stationery. So when you go to the homepage, you notice that there is a section for wedding cards at the top section and the bottom section is the wedding stationery portion. Okay, that makes so sense. So one-stop shop for both. You had, yeah, you, okay. So what we usually say is tell us a little bit about yourself. And you already did that a little bit, but what you do, we kind of learned that. How is this pandemic affecting your business right now? I mean, we're all, we can't, we can't hide from it. It's everywhere, right? So what's it doing? To and you? You're right. So let me back up a little bit. Sure. I am, I am a mom. I am a grandmother of six, a grandmother of, um, I became, we went from three to six in less time than a week. My daughter gave birth to fraternal twins oh my gosh and Good my you. daughter through marriage gave us our only little granddaughter who is a diva and she's not even two but she's a diva oh but um <laughs> I, I also work full-time i'm a qa manager at a um, travel insurance um business but okay oh. enough about that stuff um for me has this pandemic impacted my business the answer is a little bit on yeah. the greeting card side, I haven't seen a difference yet. But on the wedding stationery side, I have had to like come up with creative methods to cover up the content of the wedding invitation, the body of the wedding invitation, put a little sticker. And, and I know I don't like doing this, but the body of the invitation had already been printed. 
So we're just changing that part of it. And she understands, her guests understand that it's not going to be aesthetically pretty, but it is what it is. I mean, this is something that's totally out of our control. Um, please know that once we get over this and we will come yeah. out of this triumph and we will come out of this situation better than we went, went in. I am here. Um, I love doing what I do. I have a strong passion for what I do. The um, creativity is still there. And I just, I just love it. I, I love what I do. I love it. She does a good job too. Nicole, Thanks. you got a question for her? Got a question? Um, yeah. So um, our show, Colleen, is about um, authentic about um, you know being true, being real. Um, and we were just wondering what authentic means to you and your business. Sure. Authentic to me means being transparent. Mm -hmm. um, when I consult with a couple, whether it's for their day of stationery, the actual wedding invitations, whatever it may be, I let them know, I'm going to tell you the truth, give you an example. Some of the brides want programs, and through trial and error, brides and I have learned you don't want programs for real because if you order 100 programs and you walk back through your venue and you have 99 left, you're going to be just a little irritated. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's best not to do the programs. Now, what you can do in place of the programs is a keepsake bookmark, Ooh. and I have one down here with me, but. <laughs> I think we lost her. <laughs> I love a keepsake uh, bookmark. I, I want to see what that is. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> you know, Dawn, you're her, you're the leader of her group. I was actually thinking how cool this is because she's got her name on the screen too. How cool is that? Not everybody. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You've, you maybe, you've seen her work while we're waiting for her to log back. Oh, on. definitely. Can you tell us sure. more about her stuff? Oh, there she is. Okay, I'm back. Okay, <laughs> with the bookmark. And I'm sorry, Nicole, I don't have one with me. I have everything. That's okay. I love the idea. But you can put pictures of you and your fiance on the bookmark. And on the flip side, you can put your, um, your identify who your bridal party is, the, um, the groomsmen, the bridesmaids, the parents, and you know, mm -hmm. things like that. Okay. Now, you can take the laminated option, which makes it a little more durable, or you can take the unlaminated option. It's all up to you. And you ask about authentic. That's a part of me. I believe in communicating the entire process because one thing I don't want to do is deliver invitations. And you look at me like, lady, that is not what I asked for. So as long as there's email, <laughs> as long as there's cell phones to take pictures, I'm communicating each step of the way. So authentic to me means not holding back, being very upfront and being true because once I deliver to you, that's a piece of me going out of the door. So I have to be upfront and clear with my couples what I'm expecting from them and what they're expecting from me. So authentic is just being transparent. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. awesome. Don, I think you had a question, did you? I did. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, because I think my visual may have gone. So uh, I had the pleasure to meet Pauline first at a vendor show, and uh, then she joined my uh, Collaborating Connections networking group. So I've seen a lot of her work, and um, and she's done business cards and flyers and uh, just her creativity abounds. I'm wondering, I know the circumstances that we met under Pauline, but I was wondering if you could share with our viewers the various methods that you use to find new business in your industry. Sure, I, I'm blessed where most of, well through networking definitely is where, um, the business, my business comes from. But I'm blessed to have, I'm gonna say most, if not a majority of my business come from word of mouth. Um, my business also comes from the wedding venue events, the wedding vendor events, sorry, that I do through Engage in Indiana. But um, that's where most of my business comes from. 
Okay. Oh, and and let me take that back. Let me add on one more thing is the um the little small business events because through one of those I create thank you cards for one of the realtors in Martinsville. So every time he has a closing, he lets me know certain characteristics about the buyers, whether if they if they're bowling, um they're fantastic in bowling, if they have pets. Um, children, things like that. So I customized the thank you card to meet that family's need or that couple's needs. Oh, that's oh. cool. That yeah. is cool. You know, you already, I mean, you, I, I we, <laughs> there's so many things I always want to ask people because I know that we only have so much time and we're, we're on borrowed time with her internet connection probably but exactly. really quickly i know one of the attractions to dawn's group is dawn i do mm -hmm. get that and that's uh -huh. you know and i mean i'm fortunate to uh get to go to groups and and meet people and and see what the connection is but um you do a lot of networking i mean you could be in a lot of groups is there was there a reason that you chose TTR or was there, and you don't have to make it up. I don't want it to be fixed. Okay. We're not going to pay you later. So don't even. Oh, man. But you told me you would. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. But was there, was there something about it? Because it's a weekly commitment, you know, that's something we ask people to be committed. So. And you're right. And actually what like Dawn already touched on, what drew me in and my husband was Dawn. Because yeah. we had met at vendor events, and I want to say prior to joining Collaborating Connections, I had no idea what an elevator pitch was. I had no idea. Um, I dread talking about myself because I don't like talking about me. I just rather, I'm going to do a shameless pitch right now. I just rather let my work uh -huh. right. speak oh. for me. Right. <laughs> But then I realized that if I can't sell me verbally, if I can't relay my message about my company, no one else is going to be able to. Yeah, the work speaks for itself, but I have to be able to communicate. So elevator pitches scared the heck out of me. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. What the heck is this? But it was amazing. About a week or two after we had joined Collaborating Connections, I was put in an uncomfortable situation where I had to get give an elevator pitch and I want to thank Dawn first and then Jennifer for this coming up with this I this concept because I had no idea I'm like what do you mean no, elevator right. pitch and being able to sell yourself she handled it like a boss <laughs> no I didn't I was horrible <laughs> I was well, horrible well, now, just, you know, we want to make sure we, we don't lose you. So um, just really quick, you know, Dawn, you were going to, you always talk about nonprofits. Go ahead. You, did you want to? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know in that something that I shared with Pauline, part of Community um, Collaborating Connections, because community support and nonprofit partnerships um, is a tenet of TTR networking over overall. It's it's what really drew me in. I was wondering if Pauline, if you could share what community groups or nonprofits that you're interested in supporting, um, and 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 how you've seen that develop uh, being a part of TTR. Sure. One that I'm closely um, connected with is Voice of the Victim under Renita Hills. Um, work closely with her. Um, trying to think of the name. She calls me her personal assistant. Um, but, you know, working <laughs> Marketing working. director. Uh, <laughs> yeah, operational exactly. manager. I've heard you call all. I've been called all kind of good things. All <laughs> kinds of things, but good things. No, but um, working under her and learning a lot more about the, I know about the types of abuse but learning and hearing how it impacts the individual. And it's not just males, I mean females, it's males as well, and the children. So that kind of hits home. And another that I'm interested in, and Nicole, I think it's you with the prostate cancer. Was it, is that you that, was, that has 
somebody has a prostate cancer thing going on. But that's near and dear to me because my grandfather passed away of prostate cancer. Oh, okay. So, I mean, that's near and dear to me. And it's so, it's important that, you know, the guys do the regularly required checkups at whatever age is supposed to be. But those are two that I am interested in supporting any kind of way that I can. Well, I'm glad that that's, I, boy, that's amazing. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Nicole, let's see. I'm trying to think if we've asked her everything. I know we usually. No, we know. So the best way we can, yeah, our readers, that's a good can our readers, <laughs> our readers, I've been writing a lot. Sorry, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I've been writing notes too. Yeah. <laughs> the best way our audience can find you is at psrdesigns.com. Yes, ma'am. Is that right? Yes, okay. ma'am. So they can contact you through that. And then, um, you know what? Oh, Don, go ahead. I think it's your turn, actually. Did you have that? I just wanted to know, Pauline, is there any final thought that you want to leave um, the viewers with today? Yes, before my internet goes out. <laughs> um, <laughs> and like I said, it's a pitch, but during this time, getting a piece of mail. Yes. You know, social media is wonderful. But piece of mail means a lot to people. Yeah. So I have three Bs that I've come up with, I've been blessed to come up with, and one of them is be careful, be safe, and believe. Oh, I like I that. Fun. <laughs> oh, I love that. Thank you. Awesome. We knew we had the right person on the call today, isn't it? <laughs> Great. Go ahead. You Now you got me all choked up. Take it away. Oh. <laughs> I know it's sweet. Um, we hope. Are you okay? We yeah. We, okay. <laughs> yeah. we hope that this gives ev everyone um, an idea of the many different types of people that we yeah. have on our show. Yes, and our network. Um, How fortunate we are. Yes, go ahead. Um, our DTR networks, many different networks. Um, life is all about to us making a difference. How we can help each other. Um, accepting where we don't know what's going on, um, knowing the difference, kind of, right? Right. Um, Renity yeah. Um, yes. Dawn, is there anything you would like to share with us before we sure. wrap up? Yeah. I just want to uh, remind everyone to safely stay connected, well-informed, and positively encouraged during these times. Um, and to consider some creative ways to add value to your own life as well as the lives of others. Oh, Absolutely. gosh. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. We get ourselves, but we do, don't we? We get so yes. busy, you know. Yes. Awesome. I don't need to say anything, do I? Thank you, John. <laughs> Nicole, are we about to wrap this up now that I'm all choked up? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so we want to thank everyone for joining us today yes. on our websites and how we can contact everybody, Polly and everybody it will be, you. um, you can see us on our TTR website. It'll be in our show notes. Um, we look forward to more mini conversations yes. to come. One flash, one quick thing though. I kind of took it out of order. You've got everything yeah. there, but you know what? I yeah. found a really good, and it says it's anonymous. Wait okay. a minute. What is it? A quote? Oh, it's a quote. Yeah, because I, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I jumped because you guys got me all choked up. Oh, okay. This is anonymous. Okay. But it says, don't talk about it, be about it. And that's Ooh. exactly, it's another B. Yeah. Don't another talk B. about it, be about it. So you could add that to your Bs. It's be about it. Because your I work sure speaks for itself, right? And <laughs> once people go to your website, they're going to see that they don't need to they don't need to go anywhere else. If they're really looking for somebody who's authentic and who they are, and yeah. you, know, you are, you. and I think it is, I mean, you know, we do what we say we're going to do, and we're just happy to have you today. So, Nicole, close us out here. Take us okay. out. Okay. Until the next time, may your days <laughs> be filled with authenticity. <laughs> yes, everybody have a great day. I think we Thank lost you. Pauline. Thank you, Pauline. All right. Gone. Good to see you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. You're Bye -bye. Welcome.